Wanda with Jimmy Branch Homestead. Today I'm working on a carport, um, a portable carport to build into an outdoor room for our chicken brooder and also for some garden storage. I need to get my garden area cleaned up and I just don't have enough room to put everything. So there we go. We'll see if I can get it up by myself or not. I may have to get my husband to help me, but I'm gonna try. No laughing. I miss Kitty, you stay out of those beds. I think that's going to work. I'm going to have to get it on the ground and open it up and then pull it up. But I was going to try. I think I'm gonna have to go get some tools. Okay, so these crazy instructions tell you to put the entire frame together first and then put the tarp on. But, guess what? You have to take a bunch of it apart again to get the tarps on. So, I'm gonna start with the sides because those side rails have to go through a pocket. <clears throat> So I guess I might as well get busy. I'll have to move the cement while I'm doing the things and then put it back. Doing what then? The ratchets on the bottom. Okay, so now I need to loosen that up. And while that's loosened up, I need to take that one off too. Because it should bring out that corner far enough to do that. 
I don't know if it will or not with the bottoms tight. Yeah, I probably am going to need a hand because I ain't going to be able to hold and do this and do the corner at the same time. Please. Righty tighty left and loose. I know, and I can't tell them <laughs> That's tightening. That's tightening. That's tightening. Righty tighty left and loose. You did, because there's a bolt. What's that to? I don't know. Yes, that was an extra one. Pocket. So I don't know where it came from. I'll have to go back and check them all. But it looks like all the ones I did have nuts on them. I never noticed an extra one laying on the ground out here before. Nope. Broke down to the bottom. So I don't have all this extra up here. And I know why those are tied together so they don't go through there. Yeah. Want some more? You gotta hold it. Alright. Then you gotta take the whole thing apart and put it around that and down each four corners. So I gotta loosen them corners a bit, huh? Okay, here. Then just put the corner on. And then put that corner back together. Okay, but I need this part. Well, that's what you need to do. The same thing I just did. Just... No, give me the center for that. Bolt or nothing. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. Then.
it the same thing at the top. I already did the top. You pulled it in? <laughs> of course. pipe stick that through the back piece then stick it in them legs to hold the back straight down oh, ah, I'm not gonna be tall enough to do this dear you ain't tall enough to do a lot <laughs> vertically challenged that pipe about two inches longer than the door opening. Shoot, I guess I have to put the cement up again since we can't fasten it to the ground since we're not in grass. 
Well, we still could fasten it to the ground. <coughs> you can't do that, honey, or it's going to be too wide. How can it be too wide? Because then the door ain't going to zip shut. There, the door's like that. I mean, for this time of the year, that's okay, but if I put something in here in cold weather... That's why I said you need to put a pipe through there and then we'll stick it in between there, to, over how wide that's supposed to be. Stick it in them things, drill holes, and then put the ratchet straps back through it. <clears throat> and that way it won't come up. Get another top rail. A fence post? A fence? Huh? Get another top rail of fence and stick in there. Top rail of fence? Top rail of fence. Stick through there. It's a metal pipe. Oh. And stick it in there, and then stick it in these two things down at the bottom. And hold it open where it's supposed to. Tor, don't do that. Oh. Well, then we should put one in the bottom here, too, to do that. Then Across. you ain't going to be able to... No, I just mean not in, the, not in the thing. Just across the pipe. That's what I said. Then you're going to have that in your way going in and out of here. Well, at least it would keep it even. Yes, it would. That's what happens when none of our ground's level. Did you bleed on my tarp already? I didn't bleed that I know of. Unless I'm bleeding somewhere I don't know of. You must have. Well, maybe I did. I don't know. Uh. I bleed all the time with stuff, dear. All right. I'm going to... Okay, where's those? Where did those shelves get put? Um, Where'd you put them? I can't remember. Oh, I think they're on top of the. That's where they're at. Generator, shit. Yep. Okay. Let me pause this and go get them. get some more stuff okay move things around a little bit that on that wall will help to keep that from blowing in we're gonna get a pipe and put through there and fasten it into the ends and that should keep the walls from moving in keep it 10 foot wide and I decided the brooder will go on the north wall um, because that's where the ground is the most level. So that's why. Um, Eddie, hush. And so, yeah, I can't put the brooder there yet because we have chicks and the brooder in the garage. It would be way too heavy to move it with them in it. 
um, they're getting ready to go out on pasture as soon as Wade can finish the chicken tractor. So watch for the chicken tractor to come in a separate video. Um, and I have a lot more garden cleanup, but this really helps to um, clean it up. I don't have stuff everywhere. I have to go through and clean up the pile of leaves and the piles of dirt because that's where weeds will grow. Um, anywhere there's dirt, they're going to grow. Okay, so with the plastic pipe in the bottom, which I need to cut off at that end, um, that will weight that down so it's not just blowing in so much. Um, I've got to decide how much I'm going to cut it off. Again, it's on a slant, so that's why it's kind of puckered over there. Nothing we can really do about that. So, this will house the chicks, future generations of them that we raise. And in cold weather, we can keep it down. Of course, we'll have heaters on them as chicks. Um, but we're getting ready to run power over here um, and water. So lots of big jobs. Okay, so this is the brooder that will go in the um, small tarped garage that we got that um, I've been preparing for it. And each side lifts up up here on the top. Oops, can't get a hold of it. <laughs> eh. Oh, because I was trying to lift it in the wrong spot. And these dudes are ready to go out on pasture as soon as Wade can finish the chicken tractor. So they're too big for in here, really. They should have been out. Um, but, you know, tons of projects and not enough time to get them all done. So we turn the heat off over a week ago for them um, so they can get used to the cooler nights <clears throat> and cooler weather so it's not such a shock to them um, but hopefully within the next three days or so they'll be going out on pasture and that'll be a separate video um, that we'll post with uh, the chicken tractor that he is currently building So if you're enjoying this type of video, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and share our videos. It's the best way you can help us to grow our channel. Thank you so much for watching. Jimmy Branch Homestead.